Today's demo will show how to use Hadoop to analyze sentiment data to understand how the public feels about a product launch. Sentiment data is unstructured data on opinions, emotions, and attitudes contained in sources like social media posts, blogs, online product reviews, and customer support interactions. Organizations use sentiment analysis to understand how the public feels about something right now and then to track how those opinions change over time. An enterprise may analyze sentiment about their products, services, competitors, or company reputation. For today's demo, we will focus on a product launch. Specifically, we'll look at sentiment during the days leading up to and immediately following the recent release of the movie Iron Man 3. How did the public feel about the debut? And how might that sentiment data have been used to better promote the movie's launch? To answer this question, Let's use Hortonworks Data Platform, also known as HDP, to transform sentiment data in three steps. We will load, refine, and visualize the sentiment data. Apache Flume is part of the HDP distribution. Flume is the stream of tweets, and HDFS is the data lake that those tweets flow into. Let's look at a Twitter stream on the term Iron Man from the days immediately before and after Iron Man 3's debut. Here we can see some of the tweets flowing through Flume into HDFS. By analyzing these, we can know what the public in each of our markets is tweeting about the movie in real time. We can see how that sentiment changes after the movie's debut. This is particularly useful if we want to make urgent marketing and distribution decisions about the movie. Throughout this demo, you will see us process the data using our Hortonworks Sandbox. You can download this from our website. First, we want to create an external table for the tweet file, so we can query by specific data elements. This Apache Hive script projects a structure on the raw data. We can see how it will load creation time, the number of retweets, the tweet content, and the username as distinct data elements in an hCatalog table. hCatalog renders the unstructured tweets in a tabular format for easier manipulation. The native data remains unchanged in HDFS. Let's look at our Iron Man Twitter table. We can see all of the tweets listed, with data elements extracted from the tweets, create time, number of retweets, the tweet text, and the Twitter user. To refine the data, we will use Apache Hive to create a sentiment score for each tweet. Hive is the de facto standard for SQL interaction with Hadoop data, allowing us to pull all of the data into Excel for visualization. First, we'll use a Hive script to analyze the words within each tweet and score them as positive, negative, or neutral. Hadoop can do this because we've already set up an hCatalog dictionary table. The dictionary lists words and assigns a polarity of positive or negative to each one. When we run the Hive script that we just reviewed, it will score the sentiment of each tweet by the number of positive words compared to the number of negative words. The Hive script creates a new table in Hive using hCatalog. The table contains the original four data elements plus a new sentiment column. Now that we've scored sentiment for each tweet, Let's transition to a business user who needs a BI tool, like Excel, to harness the power of that data. Behind Excel, we use an ODBC connection to Hive to import the data. This will bring up the list of Hive tables, which we can access directly. We take all the columns of our unified sentiment file and import those into Excel. Shazam! Our data is ready. Now we can visualize our sentiment data. This visualization shows us what people are tweeting and feeling about Iron Man 3. We will get a sense for the overall Twitter buzz about the movie, see how sentiment changes, and look at the pattern of sentiment in important locations. We'll begin the data visualization by graphing the volume of Iron Man tweets during the days before and after the movie's launch. we can notice three clear spikes in global tweet volume around the Friday morning midnight premiere, the Saturday matinee time, and the Saturday evening show. Let's take a look at how sentiment varies in different countries. We'll choose country and sentiment as power view fields, then color the graphs. The color orange represents tweets with positive sentiment, blue is negative, and red is neutral. At a glance, 
I can see that sentiment is relatively positive in Ireland. Half of the tweets have a positive sentiment score, shown with the color orange. In Mexico, on the other hand, about a fifth of the tweets expressed negative sentiment, shown in blue, and only a small portion of the tweets was orange for positive. Most tweets from Mexico were neutral, shown in red. Marvel Studios and Chinese studio DMG co-financed Iron Man 3, and it included a famous Chinese actress. Let's look at Chinese sentiment. We can see that the majority of tweets are neutral, with positive sentiment slightly outweighing negative sentiment. The United States is the biggest market, so let's look at sentiment there. I can tell by the size of the U.S. pie chart that a relatively large number of the total tweets come from the United States. About half of the tweets in the U.S. show neutral sentiment, with a relatively small share of negative sentiment. But this is total sentiment over several days. We want to know how sentiment changed at different moments in time. Did sentiment about Iron Man 3 become more positive in the United States after the movie was released? Now we can scroll through the U.S. Twitter stream in one-minute intervals and look for sentiment patterns at different points in time. Here's a point in time just before the movie launched at midnight. We can see a spike in positive tweets, perhaps while fans waited in line. Here's the crowd coming out of the theater after the midnight showing, with another bump in positive sentiment. Here's the Saturday midday matinee, with another burst of positive sentiment. The same effect occurs later that day for the evening showing. We've shown a historical view of Twitter sentiment for Iron Man 3. This information is useful for planning marketing activities for any future Iron Man movies. It can also be used to make real-time decisions just before or on the day of future movie premieres. You can start analyzing your sentiment data right now with the Hortonworks Sandbox, a single-node Hadoop cluster that you can load to your laptop for free. Go to the Hortonworks website and start playing in the Sandbox.